I'm drilling a hole and after that I forget that the hole isn't ready to get the bearing mounted. I was going to use a boring head to make the hole bigger to accept the bearing but the problem is that I need the perfect center where was the hole drilled. This is a really boring tool. This is a 3D probe. It can be used to find edges, find centers, measure, digitize and set up work coordinate systems. It's got a USB-C type port, it can be connected to the machine uh, with the cable which is provided by the manufacturer. It is designed for 5 to 24 volt DC, it's got an NPN transistor output. Before braking it moves in the Z-axis about 2 mm and in the X and Y axis about 4 mm. For measuring it's got a ball on the end of the stylus with a radius of 1 mm. And it fits a 6 mm collet check. The USB cable goes to the electrical cabinet and will be connected to the input of our CNC controller. For my mill I'm using the AXBBE CNC controller. Personally I used the second port of the controller and I wired it to the fourth input. So here we have the power supply of 24 DC the 3D probe with the NPN output and the AXBBE CNC controller with the second port. Here are the connections I made. So the probe goes to the fourth input to the minus. 24 volts is connected to the plus of the input and also to the plus of the probe which is the red wire and the negative terminal of the power supply goes to the black wire which is the ground of the 3D probe. When the probe is triggered it changes the color to red and the input of the CNC controller lights up. And here is how it works. Toot. 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 Pretty great, huh? And here comes the 3D probe, really handy. It allows us to almost perfectly find the center of a circle. That's one example of what can we do with such tool. I don't know if I have already mentioned that, but having your wife with you in the garage comes in really handy. And now I'm proceeding to the software side. First of all, we have to turn on the probing plugin and the general setup tab and then configure plugins. There is a window where we check enable next to the probing plugin. You see CNC restart might be needed after that. The first thing is to set up the right pin and port in the iOS setup tab. For me it's the fourth pin on the second port. We have available two pages of probing tools here in UCCNC. So depending 
on what we want to probe, we just choose the right tool. In the setup page there are uh, quite some settings, but actually I set just the diameter of the ball of my stylus on the 3D probe. Depending on the probing mode we choose, we can set the desired probing axis and the clearance. Here are some fields showing the, the actual probe cycle informations like the size, the center, uh, the angle and the probe settings. To find the whole center we choose circle inner. Honestly I didn't use most of the settings in the probing cycles but to find a center of a hole there need to be set the fine feed the fast speed because the probing is divided to a fast contact and then the fine finding of the coordinate. Next is the save Z, it's just a readout from the setting tab. The retract distance is for making sure there is no backlash included to the measurement or to make sure that the probe signal is cleared. The fine distance is the distance of the fine feet of the second uh, probing. Then there's the probe diameter, it's only a readout from the setup settings. And the gauge height, when you are touching to a touch plate or something like that. Before the probing can begin, the machine has to be homed. And remember, never turn on the spindle when the probe is in sight. Unless you don't like the probe. For more details on probing, check the UCCNC manual and if you need a video about all the different probing modes, please let me know, I might make a video about that in the future. And yeah, this is pretty much everything when it comes to the basics. After finding the center of the hole, we can enjoy the boring stuff.